Surf's up, y'all. I'm EJ, you're you. Welcome to my channel. Let's go to the beach each. Let's go get away, right? That's right. Today, we are tackling winter beaches. What do you put on your beaches? Do people even go to the beach in the winter? Well, I've got four design ideas to make your beaches both seasonal and Gorgina, as well as some general tips for ways to winterfy those sandy, sandy dunes. So, uh, cowabunga, uh, let's get started. But first, make sure you wax down that subscribe button, do a gnarly kick flip trick on that like button, is that surfing? I don't know. And be sure to pack a substantial lunch in that comment box, and enjoy. So I always struggle with beaches because you can't terraform, so almost all the design has to come from the pieces of furniture you choose. So the biggest thing that I learned from doing this was just to always start out with an idea for the area first and foremost, but then just go through your storage, pull out literally anything you think could possibly work for the idea that you have, and then do the same thing with your catalog and order a few things, and then go and design the area. If you do that first, you're gonna give yourself options, and then you can let the items tell you what to do, rather than having to imagine something out of nothing. Like, for this one, some of my best ideas were just like spur of the moment inspiration that came from seeing, oh, well, I have this item and, and this item left, oh, maybe they could be put together with this other thing, and, and, and bam, you have an area. So, let's get on to the designs, but that's my first, that's my first tip. So. As I said, I'm going to show you four different ideas that I have for winter beaches, starting with this overgrown swimming area. So this is honestly the most basic of the ideas, but I'm going to start with it because I'll be using a lot of the small tips and tricks from this build in the next three areas. So we're going for an abandoned beach look, not like permanently abandoned, but just like, you know, clothes for the winter since people don't go sunbathing too often in you know, the winter. So I corralled up some beach chairs and I'm roping them off like they're supposed to be put in storage. Uh, and then I have like a lifeguard's chair and a life ring and a hammock. I'm going to put other beach time accoutrements strewn about. These aren't really set up for real use, but more just to give the look of things left behind. You can also see that I'm offsetting some of the furniture by like using the half squares, just to make it look a little less rigid and more natural. I'm also gonna put my lighthouse here because uh, I'm just not super sure where else to put it. Uh, and I feel like, you know, you just gotta have one for safety and aesthetic. to really drive home the abandoned aesthetic. We're gonna put these log stakes down as well as some greenery, uh, starting with flowers. So we're gonna set these around uh, and then we're going to destroy them. It's very cathartic, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Uh, you can also put flower starts here to avoid the colored bulbs at the end of the stems um, and to give more variety. Uh, so in my opinion, I think wind flowers look really great for this, but cosmos and pansies are also great. Uh, and these just add different texture from all the weeds that we're going to put down next, and there are a lot of them. I'm trying to put these either around trees at the edge of the beach or by fences in all places where there'd be less foot traffic and weeds could actually, you know, take root. And there you go, an abandoned beach. This is, I think, a great way to use any of your leftover summer furniture. Um, and it's also a super adaptable and flexible kind of design. It really is just throw some stuff around, throw some weeds on. And I made a second area on the front of my island like this. I used a surfboard here and the sand castle. So it's just a great way to use that stuff. And it's also just like a really, you know, moody beach, perfect for standing on the edge of and gazing longingly into the distance while you wait for your lover to return from his long voyage. Oh, okay, oh, that got dark there, sorry guys. Uh, anyways, next area. 
my next idea for you is a clam digging area. So I did some research and this is apparently a thing in the Pacific Northwest and also other places. Basically people are just digging up clams for fun in the winter, just like we do all year round in Animal Crossing. So first I've got some deep sea critters to populate the stalls. Uh, I found that the mussels, oysters, and scallops are the best ones for this purpose, um, but unfortunately I can't place vanilla clams. Uh, I also decided after I place everything down that I wanted to use this uh, wooden plank pattern as a makeshift boardwalk. I'm also using this pattern for my lake dock, so here's the code. I also am using, you know, a tin bucket for people to collect mollusks in. I got some boots for people to use. I'm also going to use the rope fence here as well, like I used back in the beach area. I think it's perfect for that little, you know, beachy vibe. So next I used some weeds and uh, flower stems, of course, to fill in the areas, along with, of course, the staple, our wooden stakes. I also decided that I was gonna put, you know, some extra buckets and shovels just to fill out the space and make it seem like there are a lot of people digging. And then to really drive home the point, I have this custom clam digging pattern that I made. Here's my creator code if you'd like to use it as well. And I wanted to make the entrance a little more obvious, so I'm moving a couple trees and putting down a signpost. Um, I also use this stone custom design to kind of guide visitors which way to go. After some final adjustments, here's the finished area. I think this area is so cute and so fun, very winter, very beach. Um, and I think it's really great for east and west beaches as well as your south beaches. But I think this is, just works really well as like one of those vertical kind of orientations. And I think it's also a great area to lose, use any of that leftover uh, fishing tourney furniture, which TBH I never get because I am lazy. But after all that hard work, you know, once you just like to relax, well, come on, follow me. Look, it's an empty beach. Now, this beach is a cozy little hideaway, and the footprint is a little small, and the shape is a little odd, so I always struggle with this one. Uh, but today, we're gonna turn it into a winter camping paradise. So I found this fire pit in Nooks literally today, like talk about cosmic resonance, am I right? Um, but you could also use a bonfire. I'm also gonna use these wild log benches because um, they kind of feel like driftwood. And actually now saying that out loud, <laughs> you know, I'm realizing that you could probably like customize these to be white wood or birch to really make them look like driftwood. And I'm definitely gonna use this. Um, we're also utilizing the kids tents that you can get, I think from Toy Day uh, or from cataloging from a generous friend like I did. Uh, but make sure to also use some outdoor items like bikes and a hammock. I'm also going to switch up the seating here a little just to make it feel like this is a group of friends with slapdash gateway rather than like a glamping experience, which, you know, no shade, but it's just not what I'm going for. So TBH spacing was a little bit tricky with this one, uh, but I think I managed to fit everything without it feeling, you know, super claustrophobic. There's still pathways. tiki torches to light the way and a little bench over here and of course weeds and flowers to add some texture i also wanted to fill up the upper cliff area a little more so i decided to put some weeds up there and of course i had to get some flowers too just make it a little more natural Et voila, I 
love this area. Like, I think honestly, this is probably the favorite one that I made, especially with like the cliffs behind it. Um, and I do actually think that this would be a perfect area to go in one of the top corners of your island where, you know, cliffs are usually built up and the beaches feel a little bit more secluded and you can use those rocks, you know, have fun. But now there's just one more area to go. So our last area is going to be a polar plunge area. Now, Wikipedia tells me that my state of origin, Maryland, has the biggest one of these in America each year, but they also happen all around the globe. If you're uninitiated, polar plunges are when a bunch of cabin feverish people jump into below freezing water for fun. I don't know, it's not my cup of tea, but it's a fun design idea, you know? So, I set up some outdoor tables to make it feel like a temporary one-day installation. I also used an essay set as a little sign-up sheet. I'm going to place down some changing rooms with swimsuits for people to, you know, change into their swimsuits. I'm also going to put down a couple of the trees that I picked up just to, you know, fill some vertical space. And then I'm gonna rope off the area um, just to, you know, really make it feel like it's an organized event. I'm also going to be using a radiator uh, that you can get from nooks in the winter, as well as an outdoor generator to supply power to it because, you know, logic. To additionally aid in the warming people up after their plunges, I'm putting down some coffee machines around for a, a hot beverage. Also, I will say that this polar plunge sign pattern that you see, it is an EJ original, so here's my code again. Um, but as usual, we're gonna end with some weeds, some steaks, some flowers, and natural stuff, you know. You know, I gotta say, I do like this area, obviously, I put, made a video about it, but I do think it's a super malleable area for anywhere on your island, especially the southern beaches. I think it's fun for the whole winter, and it's gonna utilize some fun winter items from nooks, and you know, especially for me, it's a nice little homage to my hometown. And look, even Mott is getting in on the action. Huh, you silly lion, don't got nothing like water? Well, that's it from me for winter beach ideas. Let me know in the comments below what you're doing on your beaches. I always love to hear what you guys are doing because, you know, it inspires me. You know, it's just like reciprocal inspiration. Um, and if you like the video, make sure to like it and also subscribe to see some more design ideas for winter and beyond. But yeah, bye y'all. Stay warm.